Who is God? Before we can even attempt to answer the who question, perhaps we should answer the question, can God be known? There are some who would consider even the question presumptuous, if not blasphemous. Consider the following. 2,000 years ago, an event took place which changed history. A man was born in an obscure town in Israel to a young Jewish girl. As he grows to maturity, his ministry of love and forgiveness touches and transforms the masses. He heals the sick, casts out demons, and raises the dead back to life. His effect on his closest followers was so profound that all but one died a martyr's death for their belief in him. His legacy? His very spirit, the spirit of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is promised to all who will make him Savior and Lord of their lives. His very will for mankind has been captured and preserved inerrant in a book we call the Bible. It really is, in its simplest form, a love story. Love so strong, so committed, that it has the power to do what nothing else in the world can do. Usher the believer into an eternal relationship with the one true God, through his Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, God can be known through his indwelling Holy Spirit who makes alive his word as presented in scripture, the Bible. He hears and answers prayer. He continually intercedes on behalf of his followers with the God of all creation. He comforts, he encourages, he forgives, and he loves unconditionally. Yes, he can be known. Although some of the who question has been answered, yet there is more. You see, he is love not simply a purveyor of love or an example of love. He is the fountain and the source of all love. He loves unconditionally, meaning regardless of who you are or what you've done, he loves you the same. His love never changes, it's immutable, as is his very nature. His greatest desire, to see all of mankind in a personal, intimate relationship with him not to be part of a religion which acts as an intermediary, establishing criteria and doctrines upon which we can approach and worship Him, but to make available an unhindered and open relationship in which we hear His voice and obey. Our goal then, to build His kingdom on earth and thus bring glory and honor to Him. He is the creator, sustainer, encourager, father, protector. Think of a hundred, a thousand, a million positive adjectives, and each applies to him. Yet words alone are inadequate to explain him fully. Words can bring you to a knowledge of him, but never a true relationship with him. That can only happen by making him both Savior and Lord, by confessing him with your mouth and believing in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, who died, rose from the dead, and ascended bodily into heaven. This simple, Yet profound act of faith is a decision which brings you into fellowship with God. It's the beginning of a new life, and more importantly, allows for an intimate relationship with God himself. God bless and shalom.